Hey guys, it's Melanie here at Christian Wyatt Books and More, and I wanted to give you guys a book haul. So I've been able to get a couple crazy cool books, and I can't wait to share them with you. Also, I've been able to get some newer books that we've read in our um, book club with Angela, and I'm really excited because I've already finished that one for February, and it was really good, you guys, so good. I also got um, a couple other ones I'll show you with, share with you right now. So the first one for the book haul, for the book club is The Viscount's Proposal. If everybody saw the live chat that we had um, with Angela, we talked about this really briefly. But basically, this is the second installment for the Spies of the Regency Spies of London from Melanie Dickerson. I have to tell you guys that um, this was probably my favorite book of Melanie Dickerson's thus far, which says a lot, and I can't wait to chat about it. We will have a live show, which um, will be announced on Angela's channel, so check that out, and we'll talk about this live, which I love to do with Angela. It's so much fun. We get to be ourselves, um, mistakes and all, as you guys know from the last live show, which was hilarious, but anyways. Um, yeah, so I really am excited about this. Um, it, it, I can't wait to talk about it in the live show. Yes. Then my husband had got me um, an, a book that I've already read, but I want to reread, and that was Lisa T, T. Bergeron's um, Waterfall. This is the series, the River Time series. She has a lot of books on top of these that are coming out um, that are related to this. Uh, series itself, which I really want to get into. It's their newer and I'm really excited about them. So yeah, The Waterfall. Um, I will talk more about this probably in the next videos uh, when I decide to reread them. At the moment, it's not on my TBR list because I have a ton of books up here to go through and I still have to get to Elise Balt's book, which I have not yet done. The next, which I've already read and is a honkin' book, it's so big, uh, is Julia Clausen's uh, The Innkeeper of Ivy Hill. This follows Jane Bell, who is a widow, and her mother-in-law, Thora. This book was slow-paced at first, but incredibly good characters that I just want to learn so much more about. So in this one, it follows the main character, Jane Bell and how she inherits this inn, and uh, all the entails of, of what it takes as a woman and the struggles of a woman being a businesswoman uh, in that time era in London. So, uh, or in the city of Ivy Hill. Um, I think it's Ivy Hill. The village of Ivy Hill, yeah. And it's, um, Julia Clausen has videos that she talks about, which uh, the place that inspired this book series that she's done. It's her first book series, so I'm really excited to be a part of this one and just read it. I'm really happy with everything that's in there, and I cannot wait for the next installment of the series. And if you want to see my review on that, you can definitely check out Goodreads, and I'll link that um, my uh, Goodreads um, thing down below, so you can check that out. My husband also picked up for me, he's such a good guy. Uh, he just saw this, he knew I read Melody Carlson, so he picked up this book for me, The River's Call. I know nothing about it, and I actually didn't know Melody, Melody, Dickers, uh, Melody Carlson wrote this book. So I'm really excited to see what's in there. I love historical fiction, not so much of this era, but I can't wait to read it anyways, because it is Melody Carlson. Then we had Christmas, um, and then after, shortly after that we had um, my husband's family come down and his uncle had told me about Downtown Abbey, which I know very little about, but I did hear about it and it was a big rave at some point. And I saw that he mentioned this book, The Downton Abbey Rules for Household Staff, and he knew I was researching historical fiction, and he thought I would really appreciate this. I do. It is such a good read. It is so awesome and it gives you the behind the scenes of the house. Uh, it is so good and it's it's got a very nice uh, finish to it and it's cloth finish so it's a very nice addition to my nonfiction and I just absolutely love this and definitely recommend you getting it if you're interested at all in this era. 
Going along with the theme of history, I also just recently got From Scotland to English River. This is actually about my family and pioneering in Quebec um, in the English River area. And it was so incredibly cool because uh, I'm it's about my family in here so and it talks about their daily life and what it takes to be a pioneer in those days and just everything about it that was just um really enlightening and just very cool and is signed by the authors who i'm obviously related to so very very neat and just such a cool history to be able to pass on i think they have more books and i can't wait to get more so you'll probably see more about these authors jean furco and Donna Templeton. Yes, very exciting stuff that I just love to read. And now I can pass on, so it's really cool. Also, I got In My End Is My Beginning, A Life of Mary, Queen of Scots, James, from James McKay. This literally was like a couple cents on Amazon. So I quickly got it, and my husband bought it for me, and it came in the mail. I'm excited to read this. Obviously, you know who it's about, but I really can't wait to hear his take on it and see what he says and the history that's there. Um, very interesting stuff. So I'm excited, excited about all these books. Let me know what books you guys have been getting and comment in below if you've read any of these books. I'd be really interested to hearing about your history as well. If you have any family history books that some people have put together, that would be super cool. As well as if you read Julie Clausen's new series or the Viscount proposal from Melanie Dickerson, I would love to hear your thoughts and please join us for the live show. See you guys. Thanks for watching.